Uh, that was a lot of guards! <sighs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let Us Play series for the Hitman Trilogy. I am russell Sun, and in case you cannot tell, I'm not looking forward to this next level. This next mission is set in Colorado, and it's on a militia base, and we're already trespassing. And we have... A ridiculous number of targets. Four. They never had you deal with four targets ever again <laughs> in this game, or any of the or the next two. So I think they realized that this may have been too much. This also this map also does not do just the fact just how big and complicated this map is. There are a whole number of armed guards in there, all of whom are perfectly willing to kill me on sight. Anyway, we're sneaking in here because this is where the Shadow Client's operations are, and I can whine about it forever, but let's just get going. Yeah, this is my this is my least favorite level in the entire series. It's actually been noted by quite a few people, uh, and, oh, and some who actually work in the video game industry as being a notoriously weak level by comparison to some of the other ones. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of opportunities. Yes, so as there are four targets, I'm going to have to pick and choose who I'm going after here in what order. All right, let's uh, get a disguise first. Now, the entire area is basically divided into sections. get him back over here so yeah disguise is certain people are allowed in certain places it's going to be an issue all right that individual does not recognize the person that he was just talking to five seconds ago However, that person over there will see either for this disguise. Alright, so because there are four targets, if I stand any chance of getting a uh, silent assassin on here, and given the fact that this is much more difficult than the Bangkok level, which I failed to get a silent assassin on, I need to pick and choose my targets. And the order I take up my targets very quickly. Alright. Yeah, so as you can tell, there's a small number of opportunities to utilize here for four targets. In fact, I think these I think these two and this last one are all for the same target. Alright. Accident kills are probably going to be my friend here. Accident and poison if I can pull that off. But I don't have any lethal poison is the problem. Uh... This looks interesting. I, I I will I will get to this guy, but I usually like leaving him to last because he spends a lot of time in the this uh, there's a house that's the central area, over there, and it is notoriously hard to get into. All right, uh, so I think I'll save that for later. All right, I have to keep I have to keep an eye out for noticers because there's a lot of people here and they're all armed. Uh, all right, there's one there. Yeah, as you can see, there's going to be tons of opportunities being revealed. 
as we go along. However, I just want to try and So overpower the explosives when I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll do start with this mostly because there's so many opportunities to get rid of this Sean Rose character. And he has the same name as me, and it's spelt wrong, and that annoys me. So I think I'm going to make up the fact that for years and years of teachers spelling my name wrong all through school, I'm going to take all that frustration on this guy. I had to kill him anyway, so. Yeah, that's a that's an opportunity for another one of these targets. Unfortunately, the nitroglycerin is right there, and there's a snow shirt beside us. But if I draw his attention away with this. And then I'll get spotted. Just by taking the long way around, I should be able to. Oh. Who are you? Dragon Six. This is Yankee Golf One Five. Go one suspicion. All right. Well, that went wrong already. Well. Yeah. I fully expect to not get this uh, facade assassin here. I'm not going to reload too often, but I want to give that another try. Because this is one of the easiest ones to actually set up an accident for. So I'm going to have to wait until they clear up by the looks of it. Yeah, there is an nitroglycerin. I mean, finding it's not going to be a problem. Recording is lagging for some reason. Alright, I timed it a bit better this time. Alright, I need an explosive expert's disguise. First target. First of four. I can't stress that enough. Just. I'll take this. Yeah, as you can see. This disguise is not going to get me in there. Alright. Yeah, but I'm going to have to get in there, so... Right. I need that disguise, or an explosive expert's disguise, but... It can be difficult to tell them all apart, so I'm going to go for the one that they've marked. Oh, and this is another way of getting rid of Sean Rose. No, I don't want to switch opportunities, Diana. Uh. 
Okay, so as long as no one turns this on, <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> Oh, and I have another notice to deal with. He picked up the coin. Alright. Overpower this explosive. Alright, now! Okay. That's the opportunity complete. So that will kill him. I don't have to wait around because I basically set up a perfect accident there. So I can just head off and try and deal with the other targets because... I mean, as you can see, it's going to be a while, potentially, before Rose comes back. And there's a spotter there, so I'm just going to... It does mean we don't get to watch him go up in a spectacular fireball. However, I might come back and try and be. I might try and come back for the explosion. But if I just wait around, and when there's three other targets to deal with, this could take forever. This is already likely going to be my longest Hitman video to date. All right. So I just found out that the body was a little bit of a train pack. That would be murder. The battering ram has injured one of the strike team, a point man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. All right. So again. Disguise yourself as the point man, he's way over here. Alright. Yeah, he is limping. Oh, the medic rat poison. I'll hang on to that. There may be an opportunity to... All right, do you drink from that water bottle? Yes. Okay. Military technician. All right. There's nowhere to hide a body in here except that cupboard. Just planning my... Uh, While we're waiting for Sean Rose to explode, I'm just going to check around back here for a... Aha! Alright, so that's the window in the bathroom. Alright. 
that's a that's an easy way of getting. Oh, good grief! Another target. <laughs> Not the one I'm after at the moment, but I'll have to get to her. How are you, sir? Mm -hmm. Fine. All right. I don't think anyone's watching. Perfect. All right, that's the rat poison in there. All right. This is the bathroom. He should come in here. I suspect to. Oh, John Rose just exploded. <laughs> well, sorry, Bear Guy will get the watch him explode, but you have to understand, I'm trying to run like clockwork on this level. A little late on the conf confirmation there, Diana. All right. All right. Yeah, they're done searching. They were searching in the wrong area for me anyway, so that is the one nice thing about this little map is there's so many areas you can sort of run off and hide in a, oh, where's he going? Where are you going? Yes, go that way, please. Dump him out the window, quickly. Climb through the window, quickly. And dump in. All right. And now I'm the point man. So I have a new set of uh, noticers to watch out for. What's that noise? That is Maya Parvati. All right, this is target number two. She's busy uh, talking to that guy. I'm just going to take a look around. Oh, well, that's a lot of hardware. Yeah. I think I have to sabotage that battering ram, if I remember correctly. I just want to take a look at this before I talk to her. Turn off safety system. Yeah. Alright. the trigger. So I hope I didn't mess that up. The safety is off so I should, I think it should work out. I might have to turn the safety off anyway but I might have had to do it after we do this little simulation. You'll see what I mean in a second. Basically we're preparation for kidnapping this guy, uh, Gustavo Torres. Yeah, so obviously the the battering ram is meant to simulate the simulate the ramming van there. Alright, 
She's missing a limb. She's not lived a very... Well, she's a terrorist, I guess. She's not lived a very... <laughs> safe life. I just want to make sure I'm clear of uh, that battering ram. <laughs> Alright, it's been a while since I fired a cut in this game. Missing crowbar. Well, no one told me I need... Oh. Good grief. I think my execution worked out much better. Alright. I think someone might have been spotting me there, but I'm going to lose him. Hopefully everything will be fine. Just in case it's not, I'm going to head over to where I got my point man disguise and uh, swap back into the explosive experts. As I said, there's a very good chance I'm not getting Silent Assassin on here, and I've already accepted that. <laughs> this is a brutal level. Oh, sorry. Alright, so that's Penelope Graves. I think I'm going to deal with her next. Yeah, I'll change disguises just to be safe. Uh, I also think I'll drop that. Alright. Yeah, so I only have two opportunities left. I think this is the one for Penelope Graves. Well, so far this has gone relatively well. <laughs> Two targets down. Both Axon kills. I mean, both will be considered Axon kills. I blew one guy up and killed the other woman with a battering ram. Nevertheless. Don't worry, Rose is dead. Ah, uh, yeah. She's been absconded from Interpol, if I remember correctly. Yes, this does sound perfect. Alright. Hello there. Hello. Alright. So this is the area where the guy with the Interpol badges. Yeah, everyone in this level is armed, which is annoying.
and basically all these little areas have, always have someone basically uh, 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 sorry what I'm trying to say is there's never just there's no one's alone on this map basically all right let's turn that off grief how am I supposed how am I supposed to do this the one benefit this level has over Bangkok, the previous level, oh, hang on, I'm going to turn this faucet instead, this will get them over here, is there's no real security cameras, which was a major, major issue in Bangkok. I'm just going to get in here for a second. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's the guy with the Interpol page who... Yeah, this is definitely going to impact my score, but... Nevertheless... No, he didn't see me. So I should be fine, I think. Well, I'm not reloading at this point. I've had my one kind of uh, fair reload that I've been using. <laughs> Arbitrarily, I know that, but still. So I'm committed now. Alright, I could get out and knock this guy out. However, well, let's back a turn. I think it's better if I just wait till they calm down. Now the odd part about this is they're not going to be suspicious at all if I do it again. Apparently I picked up that gun while I was at it, for some reason. Alright, did he turn this off? No, he didn't. Alright. Now the next person by proximity is the, tar is the guy I want. So I should be able to just uh, wait till he comes around. Have me look around for other other tools or and or resources I can use. That's the house I was talking about, by the way. The prisoner that they were discussing is in the basement. Oh look, two turrets talking to one another. Uh, we'll be going in there next after I deal with graves. Oh, good grief. I should turn this off at the moment because she's showing up. Oh, 
Oh, as tempting as it is to just deal with her now, it would be really, really bad for me if I did. Alright, just gonna wait until they clear out. As you can see, she, she like most targets, she goes everywhere with bodyguards. Two in her case. Which is really annoying. Alright. I think the Foss idea is not going to work. I'm going to try a coin instead. Oh, it's a shame I don't have any more medic poison. that perimeter gate key why not I'll swap that if that while I'm waiting oh okay it worked yeah what is that just part of the background noise or are they actually running like some sort of industrial machinery here Yes, no, I want to... <laughs> Interpol badge. There. Alright, that's all I need now. Now I can go talk to her. That took way too long. <laughs> I am making good time, I did notice. The first two targets were dealt with relatively quickly. that guy again. Alright. Alright. So this is where we're meeting Penelope Graves for a clandestine meeting because this is apparently the best place they have for that. In, uh, In this, uh, well, abandoned farm they've taken over. Uh, in case you're wondering why there are those posts there, there's a scarecrow disguise you can use in this level to sneak around. But it is immensely suspicious. It's mostly just for fun. There's a few disguises like that in each level. Alright, let's start this conversation. That's great. Quite clever on 47's part. Alright, so let. Alright, hopefully she's going to dismiss her bodyguards here. I think the best opportunity here is to, yeah, just push her in. Stay away for that guy to turn around. Perfect. 
Yes, Graves has gone to her grave. Let us uh, proceed with Ezra Berg. Which means I have to finally get into the house. Which I'm fairly certain this disguise is not good for. Alright, there, there's Ezra Berg. Alright, there are two ways we can do this. As far as I'm aware. Alright. Militia Elite, that is the disguise I need to get into the house. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people yeah, who can see me change disguises, and that's suspicious, as I'm sure you've come aware at this point. Technically, a chance. A very small. I, no, I don't think I have. I think I've ruined this already with that body being discovered. Alright, one second. I just want to check. Is this trespassing? Uh, no, yes, it is. Alright. Popping in and out like that is usually fine. This is one opportunity. He's basically got his own personal little uh, laboratory set up here. I could take out. I could use this, or I still have to get into the house at some point. However, that this is a militia elite disguise. Oh, it's tempting. It's very tempting. All right. I think this is about as secure as it's going to get. Yeah. Great. Someone saw that. Yeah, and there's let me get in here. Enjoy. All right. Well, since I'm about to die, I will have to reload this time. Oh, how far back was this? Well, that's unfortunate. But as I said, this is why I don't really like Colorado. It is a very, very difficult map. I was doing very well up until this point. All right, I've dealt with Bur. All right, so this is just before I went in there. Alright, mostly because I'm curious if I can get away with this. I did. Oh, okay. This is much simpler. Alright. That means I should... Actually, getting in there, there's a notice here in there that's going to be tricky. All right. All right. I have one opportunity left. Let's track that. To find a key to the basement. Or, and just hear me out here, I have a lock pick. Let's just pick the lock. That seems like a much simpler option. I've been recorded by security camera. Well, I mean, oh, good grief, there's all. Oh, 
okay, there's quite a few notices down here. Interfere with Berg's interrogation. Yeah, all right. All right. Where's the box to hide bodies? And Overdose. Alright. Pick up that gun. Alright, it sounds like he's just sleeping. So it's only a mild overdose. <laughs> Wait for Berg. All right. Here he comes. Let's hope no one else comes down with him. Kill him now. Which is right here. Get Sean Rose's face. I blew him up. I don't know how much is going to be left of that. Okay, well, let's see if there's uh, something that can convincingly pass as Sean Rose's face because. I don't know how much of that's going to be left. Alright, uh, well, if I know anything about Hitman, there will be a solution around here somewhere. Oh, joy. I walked right into a noticer. Yeah, sorry, another step. Follow me down here so I can take you out. Hunted, which is a good thing. I think I'm fine. All right, that glowing red target looks important. Start 3D printer. There's the phone for detonating the uh, smartwatch bomb that he mentioned. That was mentioned in that briefing. Okay. Alright, so that printed a model of Sean Rose's face? Don't throw at me, 
I guess that's what it's done. As long as he doesn't do anything with it, I should just be able to reach up and take it. Alright. I think that was the last hurdle. Good grief is this a long level. Alright. Don't even ask me how this works. <laughs> Facial recognition software, I guess? Oh, this is a conspiracy theorist room. All right, let's examine this uh, conspiracy theorist stuff. Considerably, I imagine. My previous targets. Examine his computers now. I never liked that guy. Takes a lot to make Diana swear. from this. <laughs> Exit mission. Finally. Oh, that one was, that one was tough. I'm not sure what type of score I'm going to scrape together after this.
I like how they leave the words hanging there in the black screen. That really does. That is a neat little trick. All right, what score did I scrape together from that? All right, yeah, I locked something. Two, two. Oh, that is that is that is low. I was spotted. Bodies were found, and there were recordings. I didn't bother dealing with the recordings. I just wanted out of there. Okay. Well, that wasn't very. Uh, that wasn't as good as it could have been. But that's the reason I dislike uh, Colorado. So I'm just. I'll take that on as it was. Yeah, seven objectives. That's quite a bit. However, what I really want to talk about is the uh, post-mission scene there, because it's quite clear that uh, the Shadow Client knows 47, knows how he operates, and it's hinted that they have a past together, which is going to be the plot moving forward for, the, for this trilogy as we progress through it. However, we're almost done Hitman one, uh, uh, the first Hitman game, the main campaign anyway. Uh, there's one more mission to go, and uh, we'll be going after a turncoat. The Shadow Client will be taking a back seat until Hitman 2. But we will get to that. I'll get to all three games. I want to finish this up. And with that, thank you for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe, and please join me here again next time as we continue our adventures in the world of assassins, secrets, and conspiracies by the looks of it, because good grief, that was... Uh, that Providence is going to be interesting as we go forward. Goodbye, everyone.